Hey guys, Angler here. Welcome back to Bait and Kato's Origins. In the last part, we lit torches because we're the new guy and everyone hates us. And in this part, we'll move on with the plot. I should have edited my deck too. that low potion in there and what does the herb do so it just restores HP by 10% which isn't really that useful well I guess it heals poison too but poison is not common at this point in the game I like when I actually give you an option to not go because there's really anything you could do here other than light the torches. Is everyone here? All right. Let's go over the entry route. Alara. Yes, sir. You and I will launch a feint on the front gates. Meanwhile, Soggy, you take the remaining men and infiltrate from the rear. I'll leave the timing up to you. Everyone else? Soggy is in command. Why are they leaving the new guy in charge? Let's see what our spirit can do. Really? For that reason alone? We anticipate a heavy guard presence at the target's residence. Dispatch the guardsmen if necessary. Withdraw from the premises as soon as the hit is confirmed. I'll expect a full report tomorrow morning back at headquarters. Any questions? Are you sure it's a good idea to entrust the main force to this novice? If he screws up, that's we take basically the heat. what I just said. Not even for that reason, but trusting the new guy to do something like that is never a good idea. What do you think, Spiriter? You up to the task? Valara, watch your tone of voice. You'll do just fine. I might add this operation doesn't call for insubordination on your part. <laughs> Sounds shady to me. Well, as long as you stay out of my way, everything will be fine. You better not miss a step, Ghost Boy. This isn't a field trip. I said that's enough, Alara. If there are no other questions... All right, let's go. Where does she get off calling me Ghost Boy? I've been asking that since she started that. She could at least show you some respect. What does she know? Yeah, she has no idea what you're capable of. It's, it's not, not just, just a girl. girl. Look, Look at, at your me. men. That's, That's not, not exactly love on their well, faces. Of course not. Soggy's the only one who doesn't have to wear a... No, Valar doesn't either, but Valar doesn't count. So it's only Soggy that doesn't have to wear a uniform. I suppose not. But hey, what difference I does it make? I also like how I haven't brought up that Gilo's voice is both male and female at the same time. They sure didn't want you to figure out what gender it is. I mean, it obviously doesn't have one, but they just wanted to make it even weirder. I've got you. On my side. We can take care of it ourselves. If he's even half as powerful as the legends say, we could take care of just about anything. Yeah, I think they made the gender default to male just so that there wasn't any awkward pauses in the voice. You know I don't like that. Mm. Well, how is that running? Well, I guess we're moving now, anyway. Intruders! Send reinforcements to the front gates! That sounds like our cue. Everyone, follow me! Why do we have to go in through the bushes, even though they aren't even going to be checking the back door? 
Oh no, we were at the front the whole time. Never mind. So here we go. Our first non tutorial fight. But we still don't have control of Gilo. Getting a little low on health there. Take it. Thanks. Well, I mean, Gilo already covered me, but still. There we go, for a combo. Attention. Gilo's draw was so bad he got to go immediately again. Does that even count as a fight? So Soggy leveled up. The nice thing about this game, you don't have to go to the church to level up anymore. However, gaining levels is a lot harder, and you actually finish this game at a really low level. Not that it's short, you just don't gain levels fast at all. Man, do I love treasure chests I can't get until later. Or no, never mind. I'm allowed to just go back out and get it. I mean, not that a toxic dumpling's a good item to have, but... I just don't like having treasure dangled in my face like that. Fortunately, that guy's an idiot, so... Oh, oh, come on. Well, whatever. This is like the only section in the game where the whole tip toy thing actually matters. Everywhere else, its only use is to avoid waking sleeping enemies, which... ...doesn't really matter to That's actually kind of a lot of damage. There we go. Gilo could use a potion, so Here. there we go. Who said you should help? There. Look how mad he is that we healed him. Wait, I just called him a he when he's an it. Whatever. You win! Does that even count as a fight? That takes care of those guys. I expected Soggy to get mad at me again for making them wake up. So we're in the main area. But we have a slight problem. There's that barrier in the way. Help. 
May my blade be sharp. This will probably finish it. Yup, it's down. 102 damage. It's not actually bad for this point not in the game. So we're not getting through the wall. These guys are so dumb. So it looks like we gotta beat the crap out of these guys. Yeah, and that's a pretty weak opening combo. Oh yeah, there's no deck shuffles in the new battle system either. My be sharp. But Rather, putting the card in your deck just increases the chances that you'll draw that card. Almost forgot to finish my combo. But also, I'm really happy they got rid of initial time. You win! Nice! Instead, you just have a time limit to pick your attacks, and it keeps going up every time you pick something. So, we have the key to Olgan's residence now. We got a new weapon. Sweet. Let's change our deck. No point in using a punk knife when we can just have a flash dagger. Let me just check their exact stats. That's it. Oh. Looks like their only difference in power is that the Flash Dagger is more likely to get knockdowns. I guess if I remember correctly, that's all the Crush stat does. So, we have a nice fountain to get some water from. Spray it on that guy's face. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to use on him. There we go, he's up. He's just going to fall asleep when he... Well, we leave. So I'm gonna grab water again and go back. Dashing is so useful, by the way. Yeah, he just passes out again when you leave. What a lazy idiot. So, if we can get him a chunk of rubber from the other room, it'll shut the crest wall down. Now, the rubber is in this room and they're both asleep. I guess I was wrong about this being the only part where tiptoeing is useful, but still. Let's take the rubber and get out of here. Except you have to lean literally as little on the control stick as you can to get through. 
Like, it's such a pain. And I guess I'll kill this guy again for the laughs. Oh, being class one and only being able to take one card at a time. Combo. At least this was a good kind of finisher. May my blade be sharp. There we go. Another good combo. Or Gilo could just curb stomp and pull a finish. Nice. Not bad, Gilo. So Gilo's leveled up and we still can't even play as him yet. Oh, I swear to God. He passes out every time you leave the room? God, he's lazy. I remember having to wake him up twice, but three times? Are you kidding me? This is literally only here to force the point you need Magnus to do stuff. There we go, we have his rubber. There we go. He's in front of the crest wall. So... I think I'll end the part off here, as I believe we have a boss right after that point. So, next time we've beaten Kato's Origins, we'll fight. I guess this would be the tutorial boss, so... The tutorial boss! See you guys then.